Hi, I'm Holly, and thanks for joining me today on my channel, Smile by Holly. It's great to have you here, and today we are going to be making this adorable spring mini album. So the paper pack that I'm using is called Celebrate Spring. It's an Echo Park paper company, and it's actually designed by Lori Whitlock. Look at this cute little frog and the cute little turtle. All the colors are just so bright and so fun. It's going to be just some fun paper to work with. So let's go ahead and I will show you a close up of this cute little mini album. Uh, to start out, I have a fun little pop up bow on the outside with a pop up watering can with some, I added some flowers just to give it a little bit of dimension. And you open it up. We've got this cute little pocket here on the left for some fun little punch out cards or journaling cards. Right here we have a flip out flap where you could add some notes. So we open it up and this little flap flips up. And then there's a belly band right here. I just made a cute tag with an umbrella on it. I thought that was so cute and that just tucks right down in there. And then you open it up one more time and you've kind of got the four part series. Let me just zoom out. There we go. We've got the four little sections. Now you could add, you know, journaling cards. You could add photo mats. I just added these cute little tags that lift up to showcase a fun little treat underneath. And then it folds in and then it folds over and then it folds over. So what a fun little album. I'm so excited. So what you'll need is some coordinating paper. And if you have a paper pack, it just makes it easy because then it comes with all the cute little journaling cards and embellishments. Um, but what we'll want to start out with is just some good heavyweight cardstock. Now let me show you what I'm using today. Today I'm just using cardstock from Walmart, it's pen and gear. The important thing is, is that it's 110 pound cardstock. You know, we want the base of our little album to be nice and sturdy. We're not gonna be using any chipboard in this. And so that's why it's really important that you start out uh, with the base being 110 pound cardstock. So let's go ahead and get started on this fun little mini album. So I have actually cut my 110 cardstock already down to size just to save a little bit of time. So I'm going to bring in my scoreboard. Now the first uh, page that you'll want is going to be the outside base. And this measures six by 10. And you'll want to score it at four and a half and five and a half. And if you've ever worked with 110 pound cardstock, you really need to give it a good score. It doesn't score quite as easy as the 65 pound cardstock. Okay, I'm just gonna get my bone folder and give it a good burnish. So as you can see, that's going to make just the cute little outside of our mini album. So our second page is going to be six by nine and three fourths. So just a little bit smaller. And we are going to score this at four and a half just like the first one, but then at five and a fourth. So it's just going to be a fourth of an inch smaller. And I'll show you why. Let me get it folded really good. So this is going to sit right inside. Do you see how that kind of makes a good base? Alrighty, so we'll set those aside. Now, you will need two more pieces that are six by nine and a fourth. So do you see how it just gets a little bit smaller each time? So this is six by nine and a fourth, and we are going to score this at four and a half, and four and three fourths. So it's just going to have a, a mini spine. Let's get that folded. Okay, so that's just very, very small. And these will be the pages that are actually going to flip out. So let's do our second one that is exactly the same size. It was six by nine and a fourth. 
Once again, we're scoring at four and a half and four and three fourths. And we are now done with our scoreboard. So we'll set that off to the side. And I'm just going to fold and burnish this. Okay, so we have our two little tiny mini flip out pages. So let's bring our base in and let's start to assemble. Now, let's see, what am I going to use today? I think today I'm just going to use some adhesive. You can use adhesive or glue. I usually like to use glue on my mini albums because you have a little bit more play, but I am just gonna go ahead. We're gonna just try it with the, the tape today. Okay, we've got some glue down and we're just going to put this back page onto this page. So I'm gonna line it up. Now these are exactly the same size, so you need to make sure you get it on there exact. There we go. So there is the base of our book. Now let's go ahead and add our two little flaps. This first flap is going to be right in the middle of the book and then the second flap right here on the end and then those will flip out. So let's go ahead and get some tape on there. This really comes together fast. I just made probably three in the last couple days and I had so much fun. So we've got tape on the back and we're just gonna carefully line this up. Okay, so that's right along that score line. Now we're gonna add this second one right along this score line. So let's go ahead and get some adhesive. Okay, so we've got adhesive on the back. Now we're just gonna line it up to this score line. Okay, so here's our little mini album. Those flip in, that flips over, and then this flips over. And see how cute that is? So we are done with the base. Now for the fun part, we're ready to decorate. So I'm gonna pull in all my fun little embellishments. I was so excited when I found this cute paper pack. I just love it. So let's go ahead and start with the front cover. And I'm going to use this cute little paper. And if you're just working along with me, um, if you already have your paper selected, that helps. We're just gonna put that right there on the cover. Now I cut my pages down just by a tiny bit so I would have a little bit of a white border. You can cut them the exact same size let me just get a quick measurement, which would be four and a half by six. So I just cut them slightly smaller than four and a half and slightly smaller than six, because I kind of like that white border. I'm gonna add this cute little tag. April showers bring May flowers. So with it being April, I'm so ready for those showers to turn into May flowers. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna just put it on some cardstock to make it kind of pop out a little bit. And then we'll get that right there in the middle. And then I really like the look of the 3D bows. I'm gonna turn my glue gun on and we will get that put together in just a minute. It's gonna warm up for a sec. So let's go ahead and open up our book and start decorating the inside. So the first page is a pocket page. So I'm going to lay down my base. Look, I had such a hard time trying to decide because this page was cute and then this yellow polka dot was so cute.
This one has little wheelbarrows and little rain boots. I <laughs> love it. Now, for the pocket, there's so many different ways that you can do a pocket, but I wasn't planning on putting anything too thick, so I just cut the pocket the same size as the base card. And let's go ahead and get a quick measurement there. So that's four and a half by three. And I'm just barely going to put tape on the two sides and the bottom. That will leave it so our little papers can slide down in it. Right there on the bottom. Okie doke. And I cut this cute little uh, scallop with my cameo and I think we'll add that on. It gives kind of a, oh, I don't know, a dainty feeling. Put that right on. Okay. And then this is another cute little flower that I cut out of the paper from my cameo. I think we'll just stick that on there also. That's cute. And then we've got a couple cute little cards from the kit that we'll just slide down in there. Oh, that's just so adorable. Okay, on to page two. Now what I've done with this page, let me get the base down. Okay, we've got this cute striped paper. And then this was one of the cutouts from the kit. What I'm going to do is just score it um, a half an inch in. So that will be where we can adhere it. So I'm just gonna score it at a half an inch. And then we can fold that over and that will be our little hinge right there. So yeah, won't that be cute, a cute little flap? Now, um, this particular uh, cutout was not double-sided, so if that bothers you to have it be white, um, you can go ahead and use double-sided paper. I'm actually going to lift this paper up just for a minute so I can slip this underneath it. Usually with adhesive, you can't lift it up, so I'm glad I could still get that up. <laughs> Gonna put it right here on the edge. And then we'll flip our paper down to cover up that little edge. Okay, and there is our little flip out. Oh, I just like that, that's fun. Okay, we will come back and do some more embellishments. Let's go ahead and open it up I think for page three, we'll do another little pocket. So we'll set these things aside. And once again, this is, let's see, it's four by four and a half and we're going to score it at about a half of an inch. So that will give us another flap. Okay, and I'm just gonna keep that lifted up so we can put the flap down. So I'm gonna put a little paper clip there for a minute. Let's take our little pocket and let's just score it at a half an inch. Okay, so we've scored it and now we'll add some adhesive. See these little flip up flaps are just so simple. Now I left that up so we could slip this down so it would work out just perfectly. There you go, then we can cover it with that actual paper. Oh yeah, that works out really good. Now, once again, I have this cute scallop that I thought we would add onto that. I love mini albums because no matter how many times you make it, they all seem to turn out just a little bit different. <laughs> That's what's fun. Sometimes you never know what you're going to get. Look at that, how cute that is. That is just really, really cute. Um, 
Now for this, I kind of wanted to add a little lift up. So I'm gonna add adhesive just to the very top and then put that on there so you actually lift it up by the cute little tag. And then I think we'll put this cute little saying on underneath. Boy, I can kiss through a paper pad like no other with all these fun little embellishments. It doesn't take much to go through a whole entire paper pack. <laughs> okay, so look, it's coming together. It's so fun. Let's go on to our middle page and I'm using this cute umbrella paper. Put that down. Now for this, I thought it was kind of cute to have a belly band so that we could stick our tag down through the belly band. And so I've just cut out a tag and I do have a die cut for this. So I've cut out a cute tag out, out of that uh, cloud and rain paper. And I think I wanted something that was three dimensional. So I cut, I just fussy cutted these boots out of the paper pack and I popped them up on glue dots. And I think we will just put those on top of our tag. So I'm going to take off the glue, the little adhesive strips. And these little rain boots, oh my gosh, so cute. Now I actually have the digital uh, paper kit for this. So I have, I actually bought the kit and then I bought the digital kit. So I was able to cut out like double the embellishments. And the thing with that's fun with digital kits is you can make these embellishment any size. So these little rain boots came in and they were much smaller. So I just blew them up so they were a little bit bigger. And then I'm just gonna add adhesive right on the very edges for that cute little belly band. And I'm lining it up, not that it has to be this way, but I'm lining it up with uh, uh, the cute little ruffle that's right across from it. And I'm gonna cut that down just a smidgen. And then that allows for our little rain boot to just let me get my fingernails in there to slip down underneath that belly band. Oh, that's really cute. And I will come back and I'm going to add a little bit of ribbon to the tag, but let's go ahead and finish the insides. Now these two pages will open up and flip out. So let's go ahead and do the inside. And I just cut paper that wasn't too busy. Um, I think sometimes, you know, you get all these pattern papers and it, it does get a little bit <laughs> busy. And so I went for kind of a more subtle look with just the plaid and the, the little dot pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those down. Joann's had their uh, mono adhesive. That's what I'm using today on sale and it never goes on sale. So I bought like 10 of these. So I'll probably be using this adhesive <laughs> for the next little while, but it was, a, it was a great deal. Okay, let's see, the raindrops are coming down. So we'll put that right here. I think it's funny sometimes when you get this cute, you know, double-sided paper. Let me just show you this. This cute page where the back side is as cute as the front side and it's so hard to decide which side you wanna use. <laughs> okay, then for our last, we'll do this cute yellow. Okay, so there, oh, it's coming together. 
Now, once again, these are just the little cutouts that I got from the paper pack. And if you wanted to do something different and just put the journaling sheets or the photo mats here, but I actually thought it was kind of cute to have the little flaps flip out. So I'm just going to do on the, the little uh, cards that I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna score them at a half an inch. So it doesn't take away too much of the design but gives us that flap that we're gonna need. Actually, I'm gonna do it at a fourth of an inch. On two of them, I scored the outer edges, and I ended up just scoring those at a fourth of an inch. And then on the other two, I scored a fourth of an inch from the top and then from the bottom. Okay, so I'm just gonna add our adhesive And I'm just kind of eyeballing it. So we have this beautiful spring day here in Salt Lake City. Yesterday there was snow on the ground. <laughs> Today it's 60 and the snow is gone. So that is spring for you uh, in Utah. Okay, so we've got the little flaps. And then I just am going to take the sticker sheet and put some cute little things underneath. And I'm just gonna add a couple of cute little things. Let's see, I think we'll put the turtle there. And let's see, maybe a cute little watering can. couple flowers. And then let's use, I like this little bumblebee and maybe sunshine in my heart. That will be cute. And for our last one, oh, this bird one will tie it in really well. Cute little birdie. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some fun little finishing touches. We'll add some ribbon to our tag. I do like creating the little mini books, but I have to say my favorite is the actual putting the fun little things on it. Because <laughs> that's where they really kind of take shape. Okay, we've got a cute little ribbon. And then I think on these little rain boots, I'm going to add a couple bows. Let's see, do we want white? Yeah. Okay, and then for this cute little flower, this was a fun find at Dollar Tree. They're just little uh, kind of pop-out sticker dots. And so I think we'll add one in the middle of this flower here. Kind of pop these little flowers out, make it a little bit more dimensional. Now, obviously it's going to get kind of pushed down with the book. And I wanted to do a few more things on the cover. Look at what a cute bow that makes. Oh my goodness. And there is the bottom. I just think, I always think, you know, layers and dimension just really add to a project. So let's get that on there.
And then I think we can add one of these stick up dots to our bow. Yeah, that's great. And then I thought what made the other album so cute is that I added little three dimensional flowers. So I'm just going to grab some more of those flowers. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our finished little project. So the camera was actually off when I thought it was on. So I neglected to show you the spine. The spine is actually just slightly under six inches by three fourths of an inch. And then the back page is the same as all the pages. And that's what's so fun about this book is that all the pages measure the same. And that makes it just super easy. You can get all your paper cut ahead of time. Let's go ahead and look. We've got the cute three dimensional bow with the uh, cute dimensional flowers. I think that really adds to the front. Uh, open it up. We've got our cute little pocket here with our little cutouts. You could put tags down in there. And then we've got our three dimensional flower. Look how cute that is. That really adds. Uh, we've got our flip out page. You could put a journaling card in here or a photo. I just have that cute little embellishment. You could add a magnet if you wanted it to stay closed or you could add adhesive on the sides to make it a pocket card. We'll flip it open. I did go ahead and add this little frog. He was just too cute. He wanted to be in the album also. But that flips up and you've got a laugh is a smile that bursts. Isn't that adorable? That goes down. We've got our cute little belly band with our tag that has the rain boots on it. That tag is actually to die for. Those rain boots are so cute. We'll just slip that down underneath our belly band and then we'll open up the side pages. So we have our four pages that flips out, that flips up, that flips down, and that flips to the side. So here are our two adorable little mini albums. Oh my gosh, they were so much fun to make. You know, one thing with mini albums is they're really addictive. You start making them and you just wanna make more, but it, that's what's so fun about it. So thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, if you got some value or you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. I would also love to have you subscribe to my channel. It's called Smile by Holly. Thank you again, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.